Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and well, once in a while I find a quite an interesting tool that allows you to study astronomy and space sciences in a little bit more detail, and today I'm going to talk about one such tool known as Solar System Scope. This is actually a free web-based uh, tool, and you can also download it for your phone or use it on your PC as a, as a download, and let me just quickly go through this and show you what it can do. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So first of all, this is a free tool and it works through your uh, web browser and you can just basically directly go to the browser or, uh, or to the link I posted in, in the description below and check it out by yourself. But the idea here is that you can either have the free version or if you want the more high quality desktop um, version, it costs 980. Uh, now, the only difference here is that uh, obviously you'll be... Uh, you'll have slightly higher graphic settings and you'll have slightly higher textures. The mobile version is actually absolutely free, so there is that as well. Differences here are pretty uh, pretty significant. Like, So this is the Earth uh, with the free app and this is the Earth with the paid app. But if you're okay with just having this as a kind of a learning tool and you just want to explore this tool for free first, uh, today we're going to basically discuss why this might be useful for you. So this is mostly a relatively simple app uh, or simple, app, um, I guess, web uh, browser application. And uh, it kind of just teaches you the basics of the solar system. Uh, the cool thing about it is that it also teaches you a little bit about uh, the constellations as well and some of the comets you may have not heard of before. So here um, essentially you get the solar system, you can kind of explore it, you can click on individual objects like for example Mars and go explore it in more detail by looking at the system of Mars with its two moons and uh, also going to encyclopedia getting some specific parameters and a little bit more about uh, Mars itself. So if you're just learning astronomy or space sciences, this might actually help you quite a lot. It also gives you the structure, which is something that a lot of the other apps I usually use don't really uh, have, but this is actually pretty cool. So you can kind of see the core of Mars and uh, the mantle and the crust. Uh, but it also gives you some other cool things. Like, so for example, here, if I click on, on this button, it allows me to explore comets, dwarf planets, and uh, specific constellations, which often other applications like Universe Sandbox, for example, don't really have. So um, here we can go to dwarf planets and choose how many. This is the one that's really flat. And we can go and explore it in a little bit more detail and find out that this is what it actually might look like. And Encyclopedia here gives you a little bit more information about its discovery, its shape and origins and so on. You can also go and look at some of the comets. So uh, it obviously doesn't have all of the comets, but these are added uh, or there will be more added with time. But so uh, here's, for example, so here you can actually just select the comet and uh, you usually have two selections uh, for when the comet is closest to the sun. So uh, it's also known as the per perihelion of a comet. And uh, unfortunately, the information here is quite limited in, in every other respect because we don't really know much about uh, these comets, except for, of course, one that we landed on. Uh, but um, it's still cool that you can actually just go in here and choose a comet and just take a look at it. So, for example, here's the Halley's Comet, and you get to see one is going to be closest to, uh, to the Sun and obviously our planet Earth next. Now the constellations part here is really cool, so you can actually just go in here and basically just choose any constellation. So here is a giraffe constellation, and you can then see it uh, right there in the sky, and it kind of gives you an idea of where all the constellations are and what stars they have in them. And if you want to find a specific star, you can just go in here and choose a specific star. So here's, for example, um, Alpha Centauri, and it's in the constellation that is... 
right there and you can actually click on it and basically see its location in the night sky uh so there's quite a lot of various things to you can learn through this app and um, if you kind of think that this is an unrealistic representation of the solar system and you want it to look more realistic, all you have to do is go in here, just change it to realistic mode. And you can also add some other things, like for example, um, the orbital paths of comets, uh, major stars, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of different things you can change here, depending on how you want to actually see this. So this is a more realistic representation of the solar system where everything is to scale and basically objects look much, much smaller as they should in, in real life. And on top of that, this app also allows you to kind of view things from a specific location um, on the planet Earth. So you can actually go into geolocation here and just choose a random place where you're, you you want to be located. Click OK and then click on this button right here, I believe. And there you go. You can actually see what the night sky would look like from that particular location at this specific date. You can also change the date. I don't know why it's 2061, but we can actually change the date and go back in time or go forward in time just to see um, what uh, the sky will look like. And I think it's 2061 because I actually was playing around with different comet uh, dates. But let's just say you want to see what the sky will look like from that particular location on February 13th of 2060. And so there you go, there's a comet in there, there's all of these constellations that are showing, uh, the major stars are showing as well, including Canopus, about which I've, I've talked about in um, one of the previous videos. And essentially, uh, you get to kind of explore all of this in more detail. Um, now, all in all, this is actually a pretty good addition um, to any astronomer enthusiast or anyone who wants to learn more about astronomy, and specifically any teacher that wants to actually teach astronomy in class, because since this is, this is a free app that you can use in your browser, it allows you to kind of learn a lot about various uh, things in our solar system, and including things like constellations and, of course, things like um, planets, uh, dwarf planets, and so on and of course moons as well, uh, just by uh, using this free app. Uh, now, all in all, this is kind of cool. Obviously, I wish they had more features, but what you know, you can't have everything for a free app, and I'm kind of really liking it, and considering this was a completely random discovery on my part, I'm really happy that I found it, because I can now uh, use this to teach things like, for example, structure of uh, planets like Saturn. For, you know, you can go in here, you can discover a planetary system, you can look at Titan, explore it in more detail, or you can go ahead and just look at the structure of Saturn and what it looks like on the inside. At least that's what we think about it. So a pretty awesome tool. And you know what? It's totally worth a download if you want to learn a little bit more about our solar system. So this is Solar System Scope. Uh, the link for this is in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button and maybe even come back tomorrow to learn something else about space sciences or something else you may have not known before. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye. And so here we are with our time advancing at like one year per second. And this is what our solar system will look like in 2075, 76, and 77.